to episode 4 of this Ultimate IPL Fantasy Podcast. The most exciting day is here. Uh, match number 1 between Gujarat Titans and Chennai Super Kings. We'll be discussing about the top fantasy squad. They should be selecting. We have divided the video into 3 different sections. First, we'll focus on the top 3 batters that you need to take for the team in order to get the most runs out of them. Then we'll talk about four all-rounders that are going to contribute in both batting and bowling department. We, of course, have to include one wicketkeeper. And then we'll end with three other bowlers that will complete our playing 11. So don't forget to subscribe before we move on to the next phase. So let's talk about the batting department. Uh, we'll start with two openers. The key openers for this game are going to be Shubman Kill from Gujarat Titans and Devon Conway from Chennai Super Kings. Now, we all know Devon Conway. He's a true powerhouse and he can score runs at an incredible pace. He has a great eye at every ball and he can hit it all over the park. He is always a reliable opener and he always focuses on giving a strong start to any of the innings for each and every match. And we can see that he hasn't played so much of IPL. Uh, he has just played seven matches, amassed 252 runs. And look at that average, an average of 42. That is incredible for an opening batsman. And with a strike rate of 145, that's just fantabulous. Uh, we'll talk about our second batsman, which is Shubman Gill. Uh, he has been in IPL for quite a while. He's technically a sound batsman, and he's the master of timing and placement. We have seen him playing against Australia, the likes of New Zealand, and the absolute timing that he has. He's a great asset for any other team, and he can anchor the innings if required. He has a decent strike rate of 125, but he can accelerate scoring as the game goes deep. And he has a good average of 32, amassed 1,900 runs. So that's that's not that's pretty decent, decent uh, looking scorecard for Shubman Gill. Next, we'll talk about the New Zealand ex-captain Kane Williamson. Uh, he also has 76 innings in IPL, near about what Shubman Gill has, but he has amassed uh, over 2,100 runs. So that that's pretty valuable. He's a stylish stroke maker, and he can effortlessly hit the ball out of the park. He has a great range of shots, and he can be a match winner any day. And he, we all know he's known for his consistency, and he can score runs in any conditions. And we can look at the average for 36. That's that's pretty decent in an uh, IPL in a T20 match. Anything above 30 is pretty good. So 36 with Ken Williamson is a standout. So this encompasses the first three batsmen that you will be picking for your fantasy league in order to get most points. Next, let's talk about the four all-rounders that we'll be picking. So we'll start with Ben Stokes, who is the fast bowling all-rounder. He's a solid mid-hour batsman, and we know that he's known for his ability to build an inning and then take the team to a good score. And all the games that he has had in the past, we know that he has a good temperament, and he can also handle pressure in any situation with ease. With 43 IPL games under his belt, he hasn't touched the 1,000-run thousand thousand mark yet, but this year could be it, where he will amass uh, over 1,000 years. And that comes with a batting average of 25, uh, which is pretty decent. A strike rate of 134, which is not bad either. And when we look at the bowling that he has, he's taken 28 wickets in those 43 games that he has played. With the bowling average of 34, that's uh, okay, not too good, not too bad. And uh, a decent strike rate of 24-39 nonetheless. Next, uh, we'll pick Rahul Tevatya, the spinning all-rounder from Gujarat Titans. He has 64 games under his belt with just 738 runs. But we saw how explosive he got last year with Gujarat Titans. The confidence of the team is giving into him and the confidence that he has uh, with the dressing room coming in. So since he had a pretty good performance, it doesn't show here. But if you pick any games from last year, you will see he has he had nicked the game for Gujarat Titans about three times last year, where they were almost in losing positions. But Rahul Tevatya take it away. So a strike rate of 25, uh, an average of 25, sorry, but the strike rate of 130 with the wickets of 32. 
uh, in his 64 innings, an average of 34, and a strike rate in bowling of 25. He's an all-rounder with a great batting and bowling skills. He is going to be a valuable asset to any other team. And for the moment, it's going to be Gujarat Titans. And we know he can score runs quickly, and he can also take wickets as and when required. And with the dynamic fielding, you can also save some crucial runs that will account to points for your fantasy league. Next, we move on to another Gujarat Titan pace bowler, Hardik Pandya. He's a pace bowler batsman, uh, won the game for Gujarat Titans last year. In fact, won the title of last year's season uh, for Gujarat Titans, their maiden victory. With 107 games under his belt, he is also yet touched the 2000 run mark, but it could very well be in the very first game. He's going to be favorite to touch that 2000 run mark in the game that's coming up between Gujarat Titans and Chennai Super Kings. A very healthy strike rate of 147, so that's pretty good. And if you look at the wickets that he has, 50 wickets, which is pretty decent for an all rounder. And those wickets come at an amazing strike rate of 21. Look at that. That is brilliant. So that is an all-rounding great finisher that can win matches for this team. And we know the explosive batting that he has. And he can also bowl very tight overs. In the beginning, in the end, you ask him to, um, or himself will be asking to bowl either in the power play or in the death overs. And we know he's going to perform pretty well. And he's an accurate bowler. Uh, along with being a good batsman and also a fantastic fielder. So definitely pick Hardik Pandya in your fantasy 11. Next, we move on to the spin of Chennai Super Kings with Moin Ali. Uh, he has pretty good performance under his belt. Uh, 44 innings in the IPL, amassed 910 runs. He could very well to 1,000 runs as well this year. Uh, maybe not in the first game, maybe in the upcoming next two, three games. With an average of 23 so uh, we can understand it's going to take a little time to reach reach that thousand and milestone a strike rate of 143 that is pretty pretty great for uh someone like moin ali and um, all-rounder you can see he's also taken 24 wickets and that comes with a strike rate of 23 and average of 26 so uh, that's another world-class uh, player and with both of his batting and bowling skill, he is going to be a solid asset, solid asset in your playing 11. Next, let's talk about the wicket keeper. And when we talk about wicket keeper, if Chennai Super Kings is playing, you're always going to be picking MS Tony. Just look at the stats. They are speak for themselves. Wealth of experience, 234 games almost touching 5,000 runs, uh, which he will definitely try to do tomorrow, uh, if not in the next game. Uh, look at that average of 39. So that's almost 40. Uh, very, very healthy average. And the strike rate of 135, we all know MS Tony is known as the finisher. So the strike rate could go up to 200 in tomorrow's game. And in terms of wicket keeping, we know he has a safe pair of hands behind the stumps. And the wonderful batting skill that comes with it it's going to be really really helpful in your team and he has good technique we all know he can score runs at the pace that is required for the team at the time so ms Tony is definitely going to be the wicket keeper in our fantasy playing 11. next we'll talk about the three bowlers we'll start with the spin of Chennai Super Kings, Ravindra Jadeja. Look at the experience this guy has as well. 210 games with over 2,500 runs. So that's a lot uh, for a bowler. Uh, or we can say he's actually a bowling all-rounder, um, not a bowler as such. But while picking, you can definitely select Ravindra Jadeja as your bowler. An average of 26, that's pretty decent as well. But the strike rate of 127 not too great but not bad either i mean if you look at the next guy mohammed shami he's got a uh, strike rate of 94 so definitely in the striker of 127 is better than that but he has amassed 132 wickets so far so that's pretty brilliant and those wickets are coming at an average of 30 and a strike rate of 24 so that's 
another world-class spinner and he's the master of deception and he can bamboozle even the best batsman with his variations we all know that he has a great control over his line and his length and he can spin the ball both the ways so he's going to be a great asset to any team and he can take wickets at crucial moments next let's talk about Mohammad shami uh, this guy comes with another odi series under his belt uh, from india uh, he also played in the test games that happened with, against australia so with those experience and the confidence coming into the first game of the season with 93 games already being played in ipl he has amassed 99 wickets and we're not going to be looking at the runs and the batting average or strike rate of Mohammad Shami or Deepak Chahar uh, because we are focusing on the wickets right 99 wickets so he will be a fan favorite to touch that 100 wicket mark tomorrow and those 99 wickets so far they have come with an amazing strike rate of 20.57 and an average of 29 so that's very very decent and the last bowler that we'll be picking into our team Deepak Chahar 63 games under his belt 79 runs so far so not really important but 59 wickets that he has amassed with the average of 29.19 and a strike rate of 22 so that's another bowler who's a master of swing and seam and he can make the ball talk on any surface we know that he has a great ability to read the conditions and he can adjust his line and length accordingly and he's also a reliable bowler who can take wickets at crucial moments. May it be in power play or may it be in the death overs. So that will be our top playing 11 for the first game of Gujarat Titans against Chennai Super Kings. This team is definitely going to make you a lot of runs and a lot of wickets uh, both combined. So with you're definitely going to win lots and lots of money either if you're playing in the fantasy league or you're playing in any other betting platform so with that thank you for watching and listening to our podcast today tell us in the comment section how you feel about this card and how you're playing 11 or your friends playing 11 looks like and don't forget to subscribe for more insider news and tips to make the most out of this year's fantasy league till then Stay wise, stay safe, share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next episode of this Ultimate Podcast. Thanks everyone.